so in this video we will talk about who is a data analyst and what are the primary skills and the secondary skills are required to become a data analyst and what is the average salary for a data analyst who are eligible to do this data analyst course and what is the career growth of a data analyst once you start your career as a data analyst we will discuss the complete roadmap of uh, to become a data analyst in the 2023 okay so without wasting our so without wasting our time let us start our main topic who is data analyst and how to become a data analyst so let me define who is data analyst a data analyst is a professional who is responsible for analyzing huge amount of data to identify patterns or trends or insights can help the organizations to make uh, informed decisions so as a data analyst his main work is to collect the data from various softwares such as uh, databases or uh, uh, excel sheets or spreadsheets or uh, statistical software after collect the data from various databases and then process the data and analyze the data is a data analyst people also generate the reports and use data visualization tools as well you may raise a question where exactly these data analyst people will work so data analyst people will work on various domains such as uh, healthcare domain financial uh, e-commerce this there are number of uh, domains are there these data analyst role is must required for helping the organization for to take better decisions and, uh, to reach their goals as well i hope you understand who is a data analyst and uh, where these data analyst people will work okay and now let's talk about what are the primary skills are required to become a data analyst the first and most basic skills that required to become a data analyst that is nothing but advanced excel advanced excel so if you have the prior knowledge on excel then it is very easy to understand the remaining concepts of a data analyst guys to understand how to uh, generate reports how to use data visualization concepts how to create charts or reports so these are all the concepts very easy to you if you know uh, excel or advanced excel concepts okay and the second one is you, you must have proficiency in any one programming language it might be r or python programming language okay a highly recommended language is python language okay and uh, why why i choose python language you know it is very easy to learn this programming language even if you are non technical candidate also so if you do some practice daily then it is very easy to understand and you can easily write syntax as well so so therefore a highly preferred programming language python and third one is so you must learn any one data visualization tool as well okay so why you are using data visualization tool you know so you can present our data visually so whenever you are presenting data visually that everyone can easily understand even non technical or stakeholders can easily understand uh, their business therefore to present your data visually or appearing we should so we should use any one data visualization tool either power bi or tableau next one is you should have sound knowledge on statistics as mean median standard deviation regression analysis hypothesis testing so like this you should have some basic understanding of uh, statistics concepts as well so okay so and next one you must have some basic understanding or sound knowledge on etl concepts as well like uh, data wrangling data modeling and uh, data warehousing concepts and also you should know how to handle missing values and uh, data inconsistencies okay so these are all things you must know as a data analyst that's why you have to sound knowledge on etl concepts like data wrangling data modeling and the data warehousing concepts okay and so these are the primary skills as a data analyst the secondary and additional skills are like uh, you should have some basic big data technology tools like uh, hadoop and spark 
some companies are used to uh, ask these concepts as well in interview or uh, based according to their project okay so some pro so based on their project they used to uh, filter these skills as well so so you should know some basic concepts of hadoop and spark and next one is you must have some basic knowledge of machine learning algorithms uh, for predictive analysis purpose okay. this is also based on the project requirement they used to filter the candidate okay and uh, along with these uh, so along with these primary and technical skills you should have some soft skills as well okay so you must be good at communication skills uh, both verbal and written and must be a problem solver and good analytical thinking okay and you must have good domain experience so let's talk about what is the average salary for data analyst suppose if you are if you are trying as a three to five years of experience candidate then you can expect up to uh, 15 to then you can then you can expect uh, from six lakhs to 15 lakhs package so if you are trying as experience three to five years of experience okay suppose if you are a fresher then you can ask or expect up to three to 4.5 lakhs okay now you may ask a question like what is the career growth if i start my career as a data analyst so if you start your career as a data analyst so then you can become a uh, data engineer after having some experience suppose if you have experience around four or five years of experience as a data analyst then you can move to data engineer role so after that you can become a big data engineer after that you can become a like a data science engineer or you can become a data science architect so like this there is a huge career growth so like this there is a bright and huge career growth is there once you start your career as a data analyst it is one of the most demand uh, it job in the worldwide okay so you may ask question who is eligible to do this course anyone can eligible guys you might be a computer science graduate or non computer science graduate no matter if you have passion to learn or to work on data related job then this is one of the best suitable job for you to become a data analyst if you have any doubts please comment in the comment box i will reply to your queries so if you really love this content don't forget to hit the like button so we'll meet with one more useful content video thank you very much